Welcome to the iClone tutorial series on multi-texturing effects and using the opacity mask to create transparent 3D objects. With iClone open, we have already selected our zero man project, which means that no character will be inside this scene. We'll start by selecting the scene category of iClone. Next, we'll select props. Inside the Props template panel, we'll now select the Gloss folder. The Gloss folder contains many 3D objects already with effects applied using the texturing effects. We'll select the Nine Ball for this demo. With the Nine Ball object now added to our stage, we'll go to the Modify panel to begin editing. Scroll down the Modify panel until you find the Material Settings area. In the Diffuse section of our Material Settings, what we want to do first is actually reset our texture and remove the current 9-ball texture from our object. With our texture now removed from the object, we'll move ahead to our Opacity setting, where we'll open our folder to select a texture for Opacity. With the file browser now open, it will be much easier to preview the images inside our folder by switching to thumbnail view. We'll choose the earth opacity texture. This will allow us to see what's 100% white, the continents, and hide the ocean or the water area that is 100% black. Back inside iClone, you'll see that our opacity texture has already been applied, revealing a 3D globe. Use the iClone FreeCam tool to easily preview your results. Continue building your project by adding a 2D background to your scene. To start, click 2D Background. From the 2D Background template panel, we'll choose the Graphics folder. Scroll down to Theater 2 and double click the icon to add it to the scene. The 2D background will be instantly applied to your project. Once again, use the iClone FreeCam tool to preview your results. In our preview, we notice that there's a change that we'd like to make. We'll do this by launching our opacity texture inside Adobe Photoshop. To do so, we'll go back to our Props panel. Inside the Props panel, we'll locate the opacity settings and click the Launch button to send our texture to Adobe Photoshop for editing. Once inside Adobe Photoshop, we'll make a slight adjustment to the contrast of our image. With changes made, we're ready to resave our image. After making changes to textures inside Photoshop or any other image editing program, once you return to iClone, you'll need to scroll down and select Update to see your new image or texture inside the scene. With our changes updated on our globe, we now have a very nice looking globe that allows us to have see-through areas for the ocean and viewable areas for the continents. This concludes the iClone tutorial on using the opacity texture to create transparent 3D objects for iClone. 
For more information about iClone and Reillusion, visit us on the web at reillusion.com.